Hello everyone, welcome to VAI Tutorials. In this video series, we are going to learn about Python Pandas. The Pandas package is the most important tool for data scientists and also for analysts. Even though we have so many powerful machine learning or a glamorous visualization tool, but Pandas is the backbone for most of the data science project. If you are thinking about data science as carrier, then first thing to keep it in mind, be a master in Pandas implementation. Here you can see the rise of popularity of Pandas in Stack Overflow. Almost every data science project started using the Pandas. It started from 2011 and right now we are here. Hope you understood how important it is. Why to use Pandas? We know very well either data science or machine learning or deep learning is all about the data and algorithm. So when we talk about data, so many important functionalities like data cleaning, data transforming, data analyzing, data visualizing and data storage like that we have many important functionality related to data. All these concepts can be easily done with the help of pandas let's see some key features of each one the first one is data cleaning when you consider data science project 80 percentage of our time we will be spending it on data related activities remaining 20 percentage only just like implementing the model and training the model you may think why we have to spend this much time for data because whatever the data which we are getting will be unstructured data. So what we have to do, we have to structure it. We have to clean it. In that very important step is removing all missing values, filtering the rows and columns based on some criteria, ordering the data. Like this, we have to do it. Then second one, data transforming. It is the process of converting data from one format to the another format. As I already said, unstructured data will be getting it. We have to make it a structured data. Data transformation is very important step. And third one, data analyzing. You got a data, now you have to analyze it. For example, in NumPy, we have learned how to implement the statistics into the data. Same thing, you will be doing it here. So for a particular data set, finding the average, mean, median, and so on. And uh, what is the correlation between one column to the another column? For example, in real estate, if square feet value increases, the cost of home also increases. So both are interlinked column. And third one, like what does the distribution of a data in particular column look like? It's like a normal distribution. So based on that, what conclusion we can do it. So all these data analysis can be done with the help of pandas. And uh, fourth one, data visualization. Visualizing the data in like a bar graph, pie chart, histogram, so on. And this can be implemented with the help of another package called matplotlib. After completing pandas, we will be learning that also. So with the help of matplotlib, we can visualize it very easily and finally all the clean data we have to store it somewhere either it's an excel or csv file or even database that can also be easily done with the help of pandas hope you got an idea why we are learning pandas and what are all the things we can able to achieve with the help of pandas package so the conclusion here so once you get the data don't directly jump into the modeling or complex visualization. First, you have to understand the data, what type of data set we are working, what we are going to achieve it. Once you understood that properly, then pitch into the machine learned modeling. In addition to this, Pandas can be integrated with other libraries. First important point, Pandas is built on the top of NumPy package. So the previous video series, we learned about numerical Python, where we save our data. Above that, Pandas is built. So the advantage is, if you know NumPy properly, 
what are all the methods available in the numpy same thing we can implement in the pandas also and uh, second point data in pandas is often used to feed statistical analysis so your project related to some statistical analysis means then the pandas can be integrated with scipy package scientific python package and third one for visualization matplotlib we'll be learning it soon and fourth important one scikit-learn with the help of this package we can very easily implement the machine learning algorithm so these are all some important package anyhow we'll be learning it one by one and the prerequisite what are all the things you must know it you must have a very good understanding about python basics example like list tuple dictionary functions and iterations i have already created video series for python i will be mentioning this in the video description you can learn this almost 33 videos available for that and second one is python numpy it is a recommended even without knowing the numpy also we can learn pandas but anyhow you have to learn numpy in order to handle the multiple dimensional data so what i suggest you is first learn the numpy once you are clear about the numpy then you can learn the pandas so these two are the prerequisite you must complete it then only it will be very easy to work with pandas the next topic is python installation it's very easy to install as per the requirement we are using the anaconda package so by default pandas will be there in case if it is not there for mac user you can use terminal program for uh, windows user you can use the command line in that just type pip install pandas maybe i can copy and show you that's it if you enter it will automatically install since it is already available so in my machine it is displaying like requirement already satisfied and if you are using anaconda package you have created virtual environment then you can use conda install pandas then the alternative way okay i want to install directly this pandas in the jupyter notebook means you have to add exclamatory symbol additionally then pip install pandas i'm just running it the same message what we got in command prompt we'll get it here so this is another way to do the installation then once you have completed the installation you must know how to import the pandas so it's very easy import pandas this is enough but every time we can't keep on type pandas no so what we can do as pd so going forward i'll be using pd in the place of pandas here you can give any keyword but if you check the data science project across the globe everyone will be using pd only so let's go with the same format just run it that's it the pandas package is imported before pitching into the coding part you must know few basics pandas deals with two data structure first one is series series means one dimensional data second one data frame it is a multi dimensional data so here series means it will be like a column wise so when you club multiple series then it forms the data frame you can see it here apple column orange column when you club it together this forms a table technically this table is called as data frame in pandas we will be first learning about the series then we will start about the data frames hope you are clear about the introduction part from next video we will be learning about the code implementation for pandas series then pandas data frame that's the end of this video don't forget to tap the bell symbol so that you will not miss any video upload thanks for watching happy learning